All right, let's see where this goes. So I do have a big bucket of pastels here that I'm going to use as well. Um, if you don't have some of these colors, that's okay. Just substitute it for a similar color, right? Like for example, if I use this green and you don't have this green, just use a different green. Because it's oil pastel, we are not going for realism. Okay, let's begin. Let's start with, I think, yellow for the background. Yellow first. And I will start in this corner. Okay. So I already know that I'll probably need to peel this, peel this back. Oh, sorry. Okay. So we'll start by lightly just I'm gonna go into this corner with a bit of yellow. Don't press super hard. Use a gentle pressure here because you'll you'll be layering uh, green over top. Oil pastel is all about the layering. And we usually start with the light colors. It's not like sketching. So oil pastel, we use the light colors first because you can't cover the dark color with the light color, but you can cover the light color with the dark color. So you could make a sketch, but I am just gonna go ahead and start coloring like a crayon. Oh, one more thing. These light colors are very easy to get dirty and they leave these ugly streaks all over your page. So if you have, um, let's say a yellow, before you use it, you see all this stuff on it, just grab a Kleenex or some paper towel and you can just wipe it off, like twist it inside. You'll, you want to twist it until you can't see any of the, this um, dark stuff. Yeah, you wanna make it clean before you use it or you will get many, many surprises, many surprise colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start coloring in some of my background. very lightly. So I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of lightly, lightly going over the black. I'm leaving some spots empty. Yeah, so this one, all about the layering. You'll make several layers. Okay. And I don't want to touch this area just because this is where 
my mushrooms are. Or I don't want to touch it just yet. Okay, so now using my yellow, I actually want to use my yellow to sketch out what's happening. So this, I guess yellow will be our um, undercoat color today. So I'm going to use my yellow and I'll use this as my, my sketching tool. Okay, so I'm going to start with my snail. Um, like a circle right about here. You can just, you know, sketch it out. one snail and then um, you can sketch out your mushroom so go right under the snail here So you get something like, like that. And I will do my other snail here. So it's just a circle. There's a circle here. So it's just touching that. and the rest of my snail. So your snail is extending here. So your snail here is a bit of an L shape. If you see that, it is slanted more downwards like, like that. And my mushroom here, you're just gonna go right under the snail. Go under.
So something, something like that. So we'll just give everybody some time to work on their outline. You can even use this to sketch out anything else you see. So like, for example, branches or anything else. You can use it to sketch out grass. So we'll give everybody a second to finish their sketch. Hi, I see for whoever just came in, I heard you. I don't know who you are, <laughs> can't see <laughs> you. All right, we're working with oil pastel today. And you, don't, you can't see you. my name, it's oh. Elaine, you just I see in. you, I see you now. Yeah, Hi, because I was having lunch. <laughs> lunch is important. All right, no, I'm because we show you the done. reference picture, so please. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, you're so sweet. Get rid of me. This. I missed the picture too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, for anybody good. else who still needs it, but I know that uh, you just came in. So take a picture of that. Okay, let me take a picture. Thank you very much. Thank you. No thank worries. You. Everybody who still needs it, just take a picture. We are doing pastel today, right? Yeah, it's oil pastel. Yeah. It's like crayons for adults. I think the qualities of oil pastel and crayons are actually remarkably similar. I think the oil pastels are just more oily. There's more oil and there's more pigment. Okay, so for anyone that just came in, we are um, we're just sketching right now. I've chosen to use yellow just because it's light and you can cover it with everything else. Today is a, a take the color. Uh, what, what, what the, what Sorry, the video? Pardon? Take the, what, what the, 
Oh, today is oil pastel, not watercolor. Oh, oh, okay. It's uh, it's oil like oils. the the um, the oil. I don't know what these are called in Chinese, but it's it's similar to labi. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, I think we can continue with this. And hmm, I've been thinking about how I want to do this today. And I'm thinking we'll try something different today. So we'll try putting in the highlights and the shadows, and then we'll put in the primary colors. Let's see how this turns out. So normally with oil pastel, I think most people would just lay out all the colors. So like the red for the mushroom, um, this tan, I'm not sure, white for the stem. And then they would add the highlights and the shadows. But for today, let's try something a little bit different. So take out your white and any shadow color you have. Okay, so that can be any dark color, uh, except for black, I wouldn't use black. Black is a little too much. So maybe this blue, if you have the pen tool set, this blue, if you have Crayola, the purple, this one is good. And then any of the Crayola blues, those ones are good as well. So any, anything dark. Blue or purple, I think. So first I'm going to put in all the areas that are highlighted. So the bottom of the stem, uh, some of the shell of the snail, the tops of the mushrooms. For example, I'm just gonna start filling this area in with white. And I know you can't see it, but it's there, so take the highlights and put them in first. Um, 
don't worry about blending or anything. Oil pastel doesn't really blend well. You can definitely blend it, but for today, I think we'll just, just let it be. So with this one, I'm going in a motion like up and down because the mushroom, the patterning is up and down, it is vertical. And then we'll go on top of the mushroom. Um, on top of the snail. Under the mushroom here, basically anywhere you see white. And even along some of the surface of the mushroom here, you can add some white. Like this entire surface, you can add white. Okay. So feel free to take more time with the white, but I'm moving on because you can't see the white that I've added. So I will need to add a different color so that you can see. Okay, so I'm going in, I think I'm going to go in with this blue and start marking down some of my shadow areas. So right here, for example, And under the mushroom right there, so where the darkest shadows are, you just mark those down. right under this mushroom, just right under here. If it's darker, press harder. If it's lighter, just don't press as hard. And then here, I'm going to go in between all this white to create those uh, texture lines. Okay, 
going along the body of the snail. So this is, this is a little bit of a different technique, but we're going to try it and see how it turns out. So I'm making a little shadow for my snail. And I know that some of these, there's, there's shadows on the, the shell. Don't be afraid of the shadow. The shadow is your friend. You can sketch out this line. And let's go under our mushroom here again. So you can gently mark out this area and then you just fill it in. And then I'll go in, I'll go ahead and start making some more of these, uh, what do you call these, mushroom, mushroom detail. And then the shell of my snail. So I'm just sketching out the shell of my snail.
So you can see how I'm using the blue as a sketching tool. Um, let's see, if you have a different dark color, like a purple, you can go in with that as well, or you can save it for later. I'm going to see if I can capture a couple of uh, the grass in the grasses in the background. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll see. So there's not really um, a method to this one. For the background, really just fill in the spots you see that are dark. Right, if it's dark, fill it in. And if you decide that you don't like the way the bottom part looks later, you can just color the whole thing in blue. So up here, I'm using really light pressure because it's not as dark. And then down here. Okay.
So as you can see, I don't really have a plan here um, for the background. I'm kind of just adding in the blue wherever I see a bit of shadow happening. And yeah. So after this, um, we'll just give everybody some time to play with the background and the blue. And then after this, we'll go ahead, I think, and put in the actual colors. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, just give me a second, everybody. I think I have an important call. So just give me a second here. Okay, um, I think they just hung up on me. So I'm back. Is this focusing? Can you see this? So my screen is not focusing. I'll give it a couple minutes. Hopefully it will focus. In the meantime, keep working all with your blue. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to um, rejoin the meeting on my phone here because the screen is frozen. Technical difficulties.
Okay, looks like we're back in business. Yay, we can see that now. Okay, so now I think we can begin to add all our other colors. So you will need red. So I have my red here. Actually, I like this shade of red more. It's a bit of an orange. If you are using this pen tool set right here, you will need orange as well. Or you can just use the red. OK, so now for um, the fun part here. Uh, we get to start filling in our mushroom. So I will start to fill it in. So just fill it in. I know that I already added these shadows, so I can just go ahead and move my red over. So just go ahead and start filling that in. If there's white highlighted areas, you might need to go in with your white again and blend that in so it's not as rough. Or if you wanted to lighten some areas, like whatever is happening right here, then you can go in with your white and do so. And now moving on to the mushroom up there. I'm just going to go in and start filling this in. If it starts to get muddy, you you will um, need to wipe off your pastel. So if there's all this other color it's picking up, just wipe it off. And 
blend. We'll go in with our white to blend this part in. Okay, so now the red is definitely, that's, that's a mushroom. So after we finish doing this, uh, we need to choose a color for a stem here. It's kind of like an off, an off brown color almost. It's it's a little bit similar to this skin color we have. I think we'll just use this this skin color, and uh, we'll use that to fill in these areas. This plus maybe yellow. So we'll need to layer these colors. Start with our big stem right here. Yeah, it's a little bit pink. Just go up and down. It's okay if some of the blue gets dragged into this. And then I'll go in with my yellow. So I wanna make this more yellow. Sorry, everybody. That guy thinks he's he's uh, guarding the house from uh, the neighbor's kids. <laughs> he thinks it's a very important job. Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. And we'll also go up here and fill in this. Um, and then we'll go back in with yellow. Yeah, don't worry if some of the colors are blending together, right? Just it's okay. And same with my mushroom over here. Okay. 
Let's draw it with a bit of yellow. And then we'll go in up here with that peach color. And most of my snail, the body of the snail is the peach color. So I'm just gonna go in and just add that. Same with my other little guy here. Okay, believe it or not, that guy is six months old and he's only 30 pounds. That dog, our dog, he sounds, he sounds like he's, he's much bigger, but he's actually very small. He's lovely on walks, but uh, if, if he thinks there's a threat outside, he's, he's got to let us know. Okay. So I've added in my red and my peach tone. And now, um, I think we need to add in some brown and some purple for shadows. So I've got my purple here and I have a brown. So what I'm going to do is take my purple and I'll use this in the very darkest areas, for example, right here. Um, maybe under the shell, give that a bit of a shadow. Anywhere I think could be darker. Hey, on the bright side, at least we don't have to pay for a home alarm system. Okay, so keep working along. Um, like for right here, you can make that darker. Or right here, 
can make this under part a little bit darker using the purple. And I think we can go in with brown as well. So at the moment, I'm just taking the brown and adding it into uh, certain areas here. Like, for example, the mushroom. And the bottom of this. And then I'm going to start tinting a snail. Okay. At this point, um, I would like to add some fun color into my nails up here. I don't want to keep them brown. So um, what do I have? I have pink. Um, I have a light blue. I have orange. I think I'm going to do orange and pink. I also have a light blue that I can try. But basically, you know, pick a fun color, pick a color that you like out of out of the bin, and you can add that. Try adding it or some of that color into your snail. It's so much more interesting. So I've added some pink into the snail. I like it, it looks pretty interesting. So that snail is gonna be pink and maybe this one will be hmm, maybe orange. Let's see how it looks if I add some orange. I think I might need a lighter orange. This one is very dark. Okay. 
Yeah, it's kind of orange. And some baby blue. So have some fun. You can add some like different different colors in there. It's not really going to be realistic looking anyways because it's oil pastel. So may as well experiment with the colors and see what you like. You can try to add some white highlights on the snails as well. So there. So just use the white and you can try. I think the easiest way to do this is to tap it in. And then we'll do the snail right here. I find that if you if you tap it, it actually uh, it sticks a little bit better. And then after this, we're almost done here. We just need to add green. So there's a lot of green happening on this page. So you can use the white wherever you feel like, ah, oh, needs more highlight, needs less highlight. You may need to give several coats before it'll stay. Okay. Okay, for the sake of time, 
I will be moving on to green, but feel free to take all the time you need here. Just adding these little antennas. No, no, I haven't seen a snail in a very long time. I'm outside camping and stuff too. I just don't know where all the snails are. Let's begin with grass, all of our grass. Actually, I'm just going to add a little bit more purple in this corner. And for grass, there's light green and dark green. So you will need both. Oops, it's a rolling. I'll start first. This is gonna be time consuming. It's not difficult, it just takes time. What I'm going to do is just start filling in this background. So let's start to fill it in. Okay. Put in, put in the elbow grease and get all this filled in. Kind of like the lighter background here. I might not fill all of that in green. So I'm just going to create a gradient and go lighter and lighter into there. Right like that. So I don't actually, I don't actually know if I want to fill all of that in. So you're just gonna go in the light green. Try not to leave any white spaces. So try to go in, cover all the white spaces you see. I'm just gonna go and right overlap that mushroom here. Overlap this part. Oh, that just broke, okay. Now it's chalk. Keep 
coloring. Just keep going. Um, I think oil pastel is one of the hardest mediums, in my opinion. I think this is harder than oil painting. Just keep going. I might go in with a bit more green up here because I, I need to use this. So you can take your pastel and draw in some texture. Okay, and you will need to go in. We still have dark green, remember? Uh, what happened here? So now I'm going to take out my dark green and maybe my brown, brown and dark green. And I have purple as well.
So I will use these dark green, purple um, to fill in some more area. So if you think a certain area is too light, go ahead, fill it in with dark green. And you can also draw some of these. This one looks like a pea pod. Yeah, so go ahead, fill in any area. A couple here. Okay, once you finish with that, you can go in with the brown and the purple. And use those to make more uh, shadows. Get rid of that line. Okay, so purple. Just gonna go in with my purple and make some of these areas dark. Create some more depth here. Okay. 
Uh, I love purple. If you use black, it will be too dark. Almost done. Yeah, you can use the purple to create um, layers, grass. Okay, one more thing before we finish here. I will go in with my white and cover this top area. If I want it to be smooth, then that's, that's how it's going to be smooth. I need to cover all the white parts. You don't have to do this.
There we go. I think that's blend. It's the best, best we're gonna get. All right, I think that will be the end of this one. So go ahead and stop the recording. Actually, I get to rip all of this off. This is the best part. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I did that too. Gotta bring back this corner. Mm -hmm. It's not as clean, but that's okay. It's only mine. Okay, we're done. Yeah.